distribution system is quite complex. There's a lot of things that are going on, a lot of tracking and management that utility systems have to do to maintain the distribution system. And then uh, there's also a lot of problems could occur on the distribution system that causes an outage. So there's a lot going on. So a typical utility distribution system has like a overhead 115 kV line. There's eyesight protection. There's a standard transformer size there. And then on the low voltage side, typically it's 12.5 kV. And we have just represented a main aux bus. We'll talk more about this later on. So what happens when we have another protected device in line of this feeder breaker. So what happens when you have multiple reclosers on the distribution line? Okay, so coordination, what is it? Why? And we're and someone who's exposed to this, this is going to be easy for them, but other people may not be. So what is a coordination? Operation will only occur when there's fault current that is above 1200 amps, and it'll occur with no time delays. But what happens when we have two reclosers on the line? And then now you can see that there's a staggering effect that goes into play. And this is a TCC curve for the fuse. What happens when there's 1100 amps that's uh, seen by this fuse? Well, it's going to operate in 0.4 seconds. So specific fuses and specific relay pickup values are chosen for a very important reason. And it's to maintain this consistent CTI between protected devices. Why is there an emphasis on the CTIs and the really specific pickup values? So if you have like a carpool accident uh, towards uh, this part of the line, well, the voltage, well, there's going to be some depression in voltage, but the resistance will be measured between the breaker at the point of the fault. So in an emergency situation, of course, it's different where, uh, you know, you have an emergency and you don't have a lot of options. You don't have a lot of options to study the system. But if it's something that's more common, then uh, utility engineers do study and make sure that they have that. So let's talk about miscoordination. So miscoordination, the indication of a possible miscoordination occurs just in general term. The upstream protected device operates before the downstream protected device. Or the upstream device and downstream device operate at the same times or they just don't operate. Okay, so hotline work switch. We talked about this, right? And Utility company, they have a lot of different names for the same thing. Hotline work switch is very similar to maintenance switch that you might find in low voltage industrial and commercial systems. But what's important is once the activity is completed is to turn off that feature. Because if somebody forgets to turn it off, then at any fault that occurs beyond this recloser is going to force this recloser to operate uh, instantaneously rather than to apply this fuse, right? So forgetting to turn that type of feature off is often a cause of uh, misoperation. So what happens when there's a carpool accident and these distribution cables that are now insulated fall on the ground? 